السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم وما الا مبشرا ونذیرا قل ما اسألكم علیہ من اجر الا من شاء ان يتخذ الى ربه سبیلا At 5 p.m., the first of 400 Heinkel and Dornier bombers began their descent over London. Another 400 arrived around 8 p.m. to continue the attacks. Damage to the docks was devastating, and many lives were lost north and south of the river on what quickly became known as Black Saturday. Incendiary attacks began fires which burned. Чайки с задней стороны тоже что-то провода пообрывала, деревья пообрывала, что-то сюда прилетело тоже. Вот здесь вот будка разломала забор и поднимала. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم ظهر الفساد في البر والبحر بما كسبت أيدي الناس ليذيقهم لِيُذِيقَهُمْ بَعْضَ الَّذِي عَمِلُوا لَعَلَّهُمْ يَرْجِعُونَ Turbulence has appeared on land and sea in consequence of people's misdeeds that Allah may afflict them with the consequences of their misconduct so that they may turn back from evil. Chapter 30, verses 42 Humankind is facing extremely dangerous times, ecologically, politically and socially. Western developmental model of hedonistic consumption has put global environment and the atmosphere under siege. Global warming and climate change are a painful reality of our times. Extreme weather events that are happening all around 
call our attention to the human just threats looming over humanity's very survival on earth coupled with the destruction of the environment violence and bloodletting are increasing on an exponential scale all across the world societies are splintered on ethnic religious regional and sectarian lines with brutal majoritarianism trumping over the dignity and rights of the human person likewise powerful nations are seeking to subjugate other nations in their midst consider the ongoing russian invasion of ukraine instead of resolving disputes through diplomacy and negotiations through settlements and agreements that acknowledge the interests and concerns of each other nations that share a common history and legacy are at war with one another and more worryingly the present war threatens to unleash forces that can escalate the situation further and thereby even engulf the whole of europe and beyond into a quagmire of utter destruction with nuclear armed states on both sides of the divide people who have eyes to perceive warn about doomsday scenario as only the logical consequence of the sheer madness on display in this context it is important to reflect on the divine revelations received by imam jamaatul sahih al islam hazrat khalifatullah al mahdi muni rahmat azim sahib by yadullah taala bi nazr laziz of mauritius on saturday 5th march 2022 the divine message warns humanity about the gathering storm of war destructive chaos will disrupt everyday lives on an uncommon scale affecting and impacting people everywhere the extraordinary divine communication contains several signs of the events to unfold in the near future rivers of blood as it were the terrible destruction that will transform men and women and their nations may allah subhanahu wa taala destroy the fangs of evil and safeguard all believers everywhere enable them to flow under the flag of true spirituality and humanity that is the ark of azim in this era inshallah amen assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh divine revelations received by hazrat muhayyuddin al khalifatullah munir ahmed azim ayyadullah taala bi nazri laziz of mauritius on saturday 5th march 2022 world war 3 is very near birds have come to announce me these messages many men will die there will be rivers of blood like hazrat muhammad peace be upon him prophesied a man will be responsible for 50 women missiles and bombs will spread all around the world many people will lose their lives all men should go to war long ago children were afraid and had great respect for parents but today parents are afraid of their kids some killed their parents some kicked their parents from their homes saying vulgar words to them now men will be less no reproduction no man in the power of man no women in the power of women can change this world except allah and his khalifatullah oh my disciples don't raise your voices and hands against your parents and your khalifatullah don't disobey your khalifa an elected khalifa by allah not by men see those who have left the divine manifestation there is no ruhani light on their face winds are bringing these messages winds are blowing very hard one day they will come to seek the blessings of the khalifatullah but unfortunately it will be too late they will be in a miserable state allah makes me understand that there are many good disciples 
who are working very hard but there are some who aren't come into the ark of azim only in this ark will they be saved those who humiliate the caliphatullah will be destroyed even if you ask forgiveness seven lakh times allah will never forgive them you will have to support the caliphatullah don't backbite and blame him fasbir sabran jamila allah will give you o caliphatullah text on patience the caliphatullah said under divine revelation my disciples also will go through fires don't worry about this afterwards the caliphatullah made lots of duas for his disciples in difficulties but he was sad that some of them did not recognize the outcome and power of those duas there will be viruses in fruits and vegetables as well as animals food will be scarce the caliphatullah said under divine revelations people will laugh at me when now i am saying to bring a bowl of water the caliphatullah will put his saliva into it so as to purify it so that people can drink the water many have become atheist most of the ahmadis are taking their khalifa as the most important more than allah dark times are coming no medicine shall be available in hospitals and pharmacies people must go back to medicinal plants allah loves those who obey him and his prophet hold fast to the rope of allah work hard on deen works